Everyone get out! Hello tankers and tankettes. Time for the tier 3 winners. I've decided to split these up into uh, this video which is going to be the third place and the second place winner and then the first prize winner will get a video all of their own. This is mainly because if I put them all together it would be a really long video for me to upload so I've decided to split it up a little bit. And also, you know, there's a, a little bit more tension this way maybe because yay dramatic tension. Anyway, without further ado, let's see the third place winner. And congratulations to Urban Tarzan, who sent this in. This is the Cruiser 4. He's actually platooned up with a T-82, who is, let's just check, that is non-CAS. And as you can see, it's Lakeville Encounter Mode. And this is really, really favourable matchmaking for a Tier 3. This is very, very lucky matchmaking indeed. There are two Tier 5s on each side. A couple of tier 4s and the rest are all tier 3s. So, like I said, for this tank this is really good matchmaking. Even though with less favourable matchmaking this tank can still do quite well. As you may or may not know, the Cruiser 4 is one of my favourite low tier tanks. It's just really fun to play. And it was one I predicted that we'd see a, a lot in this contest. And I did get a fair few entries with this tank. But there was actually quite a mix. There was uh, more of a mix of tanks than I was expecting. So. Immediately he's getting into a spotting position, and I'll tell you, this isn't actually going to be that long of a, a match. And this is actually kind of lucky, because one of the limitations of this gun, and you can see there he's switching to APCR, because front of a Panzer IV, you're not going to get a front, uh, front of penetrations otherwise. Um, one of the limitations of this tank, because it's 40mm calibre, 40mm calibre? Is that a thing? Because it's a 40mm gun, it has uh, quite a sharp drop off in terms of the uh, the range. I think it's about 300 and something metres that they... Basically, af uh, it's auto bounce after that range. So there we go, side of a Panzer IV. And he leads a bit much there, but the guy just stops. I don't know if he gets... Yeah, he, he got tracked, so... Just some blind shots in. And there we go, he finishes him off. He's going back to the regular AP ammo now. And there was a bit of comment on the MX40 video about the amount of AP, um, APCR ammo used, the amount of premium ammo. Honestly, I was kind of expecting to see lots of premium ammo use, because I did think of putting that restriction on, but then I thought, no, if people are going to get the best possible score, then if they want to use premium ammo to get that goal, then that that's fine. That's... Uh, for the purposes of this contest, I have no problem with that. You know, if I, I don't particularly encourage it, just generally spamming gold ammo everywhere. But to use premium ammo in this context, or to use premium ammo against higher tier targets, I, I think that's fine. I will see here that uh, is actually um, Urban is actually switching ammo types. He's not just exclusively using premium ammo. And he's actually doing a fairly good job of leading targets, uh, considering the distances involved and considering the nature of this gun. Sometimes the second shot will fly totally wild, but it is possible with a bit of practice to lead it even as you're firing. So as the second shell is coming out of the clip, you can actually uh, uh, be sure of, of... well, not be sure, but have a better chance of hitting what you want to hit. So there we go. Back to the APCR. There's a Wolverine. And the front of the Wolverine at this distance, with regular AP ammo, it would be a pretty risky proposition. So, again, back to the APCR. And this is actually a pretty good situation. That guy's out in the open. The Crucifer has excellent gun depression. Really good. So he can just pop up and go bam, 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 bam. And there we go. That's two tier 5 targets down. And there's an SU-76, but no cast derps him in the face. And we're actually down to the last two tanks now. He really doesn't need APCR for these guys, but I'm guessing at this point he just forgot to switch back, because he had a couple of seconds in which to switch back, but didn't. You definitely don't need APCR for Sturmpanzer 2. There we go, a bit more damage. And we're getting close to the 1k now. In fact, it probably is over 1k, because he did some blind damage. Each of these shells doesn't do much damage individually, but 
accum you know, the, the cumulative effect, it's, it's 200 average per clip. Oh, Derp240, and someone else gets the kill, but he gets a, a last bit of damage in there. So there we go. That was actually a pretty short match. We only just hit the four minute mark. Uh, the score on that, well, you might be wondering what the, what score that was. Because it was two tier fives he killed, that obviously helped a lot. That would have been his mastery, his ace tanker, if he... Uh, well, I don't know if he had it already. It's hard to tell at the moment. With the uh, the, the the way they've they've jiggled the system around, people are getting ace tankers all over the place. So, um, yeah, it was 1178 damage done, 1118 XP, which is not bad for a tier 3, it really isn't. And as we can see, yes, that was a very short match indeed, and he didn't make a profit on that because he doesn't have a premium account. With a premium account, he still wouldn't have made a profit. He, he would have walked away with a, a, a 10k loss, but it's a contest. I don't think you're particularly worrying about making a profit for a, a, when you're trying to get a, a contest result like this. So, that was pretty good. That was a, a very good XP score for a tier 3. That was uh, over 1100. And there were actually a couple of entries over 1000, and um, it was actually, it was funny, I was going down the list, I was thinking, oh, that's, uh, well, that's a good score, that must be on the, oh, no, there's a better one, oh, no, no, there's a better one than that. <laughs> so there were some really good entries in this time. So, we will now go on to the second place, and it's going to be a rather different sort of match, it's going to be a different tank, and uh, we shall see how that goes. And second place goes to... Nimbus X, who is one of our very own, he's a circling, he's in Cirque 2, he's actually again platooned up, he's with Mojo5, who is in Cirque, and this time it's the Panzer 1C, and they're both in Panzer 1Cs. This is, again, very, very nice matchmaking, there's a lot more Tier 5s this time, in fact, they are the only Tier 3s on this team, there's one Tier 3 on the other team, the majority of the tanks in this battle are Tier 4, but that's good for a Panzer 1C, that means there's potentially more targets that you can actually do damage to. It's still going to be a challenge though, because as we all know, the Mauser machine gun does not have terribly good penetration, even if it does have an amazing rate of fire. So the question is, what can he do to help his team win? Well, he's actually going to go to a sniping position, and you'll also notice he's not using any premium ammo at all, so this could be interesting. However, uh, did I say sniping position? I meant scouting position. Maybe that will give away what's going to happen, because we can see there he's got a whole bunch of spotting already. Don't know if he's got any optics or anything like that on this uh, this tank, but he has got a pretty decent crew. He has got a commander with a sixth sense, at least. So we can tell when we get spotted. So there we go, he's unloading at a T28. A bit of damage, but not a huge amount. It's just... Uh, <laughs> you can hear Mojo. Uh, motor away there as well. Panzer 38T, nearly 300 meters distance, but still enough penetration for some to go through. And he's managing some damage, but not a huge amount. That's 200. And you'll, I think you'll be able to look at the damage score as we're going along, the actual damage counter, and you'll be able to guess actually where a lot of the XP in this battle is going to come from. Five nil. This is going to be another relatively quick match, I can tell you. It's not going to be quite as quick as the other one, but it's still going to be fairly quick. And the reason it's going to be fairly quick... Well, the other team's not very good, but it's also in part thanks to Nimbus. And we can tell he's not been spotted yet, because, like I said, his commander's got six cents. So he's actually been sitting here firing, and nobody's spotted him yet. There's actually a kill there, that's not bad. 429 damage. He's uh, just trying to spot stuff now. You can tell, yeah, I think I've given the game away at this point, that the majority of his score is going to come from spotting damage. So he's just cautiously peeking. If he gets spotted, he can probably fall back quick enough. We've only lost a single tank on this team. The other team in this, uh, in this game was pretty bad, I have to say. Even if it was... Uh, I mean, it's kind of... Like the last one, it's kind of screen match, but it's like... A, pair of tier 5s, but uh, even so, there's some good tier 4s on each team. I mean, the other team's got an AMX-40, so clearly, you know, he should have been carrying the whole team, but uh, 
Not the best AMX40 driver ever. <laughs> Trying for a bit more damage there. A little bit. But not a huge amount. I don't know why that T28 kept popping out though. That's obviously not a good idea, all things considered. We've we've lost another tank now. Mojo 5 has actually been killed. We know the Stug is up there somewhere because he killed Mojo. So there's enemy artillery, but with uh, as with the the uh, Cruiser 4, the 40 mm gun, this thing, I mean that that's way too far uh, away. That's that's not going to do any damage at that distance. That's going to bounce. Unloads on the cheeky, but um, does. 15 damage. Falls back because he got spotted, and that's the first time he was spotted. There's a T40 up there. Chihi's down. Down to the last three enemies now. So, I think it's safe to move up. I think we can uh, fairly confidently. And even though this has been... Um, it has been a tier 5... You know, it's been a lot of tier 4s, uh, and it is tier 5... Uh, matchmaking, he's actually still managed to do 500 damage, and that's not too bad in these circumstances. A lot of that has been against T28s, which just goes to show you how amazing the T28 armor is. There's that Stug, last tank on the enemy team. And I think this is more in hope than expectation that he's actually going to pen. The guy's actually just ignoring him, but he was probably scoped in. And this is all a bit more spotting damage. He actually does a little bit of damage there, 40 damage, takes the guy's trap as well, and somebody else nails him for that last 9 health. So there we go. Well done Nimbus. Let's take a quick look at the scores. Now, again, Ace Tanker, also Patrol Duty and Scout, which is a nice combination in any light tank. Managing that in a Tier 5 game in a Tier 3 tank is really good. He actually spotted uh, the majority, well, it would have to be a majority of the enemy team. I think that's, see, that's six, seven, eight. Uh, I don't know. Actually, let's just look. Ten. It tells me how many. I don't have to count. Wow. Well done, me. 360 shots fired. He did 553 damage. He got, however, 2,176 spotting damage. So that's nearly 2.2k spotting damage. And that's why he got 1,187. So that's nearly 1,200 XP. So that was a pretty good result for a Panzer 1C. You don't normally see Panzer 1Cs scouting, but Nimbus actually did a pretty good job of it there, all things considered. So it's clearly not a terrible scout. It's actually got a, at least a, a reasonable enough turn of speed to make it... a an okay passive scout because you can get to those forward scouting positions reasonably quickly and because normally it's tier 5 max matchmaking the view ranges that you're up against are generally not that good so there's a good chance that you can sit in a bush like that and not be spotted and as we saw there he was able to fire and not be spotted for quite a long time it was only relatively close to the end that he actually did get spotted so both of these people should have their prizes already. I thought those were both... I, I was actually uh, um, surprised that we had any uh, uh, scouting games like that at all. I thought it was all going to be damaged, but no, we've actually had uh, at least one where the, uh, the the good score has actually come from spotting damage. So that was uh, that, That's a bit of nice variety, I feel. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed, like I said, we will have the first place uh, the the overall winner will will uh, see that result and see how uh, that goes so as per usual you can leave a comment below you can hit the like button you can subscribe to my channel and of course as always stay tuned for more